Hello YouTube, hello the YouTube piping community, Cass, the Piper Cassidy here. What about you? You having a good day? I certainly am. And the reason why is I've received a delivery. As I mentioned in the first introductory video, I was waiting on my first ever Savinelli coming in the post. I made an order from an Italian website called bolitopipe.com. That is B O L L I T O pipe.com. Bolito. Great website. Uh, lots of uh, choice. A uh, good range of pipes. Good prices. The Salvanelli 673 KS Dolomiti, which I ordered, was 69 or 70 euros. The 70 euro mark, anyway. And look, here it is. They've wrapped it up nicely, as if it was uh, going to. Uh, be a birthday present or something. Very nice of them, but we'll save the best for last. So this actually is uh, wired to accept a nine millimeter filter. This is my first filter pipe. I haven't tried one before. I don't know what you guys think of uh, using filters. It's very common in Europe. Um, I, I hear the Bremen pipe smoker tells tells us that night over 90% of German pipe smokers they will use the filters um, So I wanted to try the nine millimeter charcoal filter to see if all the horror stories are true Does it take the flavor of the tobacco away? Am I not going to be able to taste my favorite aromatics? Will I not get the nuances or of my favorite English blends? Is it going to be that bad? So You'll be able to, to watch me uh, break my filter virginity live on YouTube. But so here's the filters that I bought with it. 180, so uh, 20 euro. Uh, about, yeah, about 19 pounds. And uh, probably about, yeah, the $20 mark, I guess, as well. I think it's one on one. But those will go well. So just a few other bits and bobs. I have a couple of corn cob pipes and bolidopipes.com. They offer a range of forever stems for your favorite corn cobs. They, I believe, will fit onto your Missouri Meerschaums and they look great. You can also get white ones and orange ones, and they also offer uh, different types of plastic. I think these are acrylic. I think you can get some other types as well. But check it out. Check out Bolido Pipe. Italian site. I also got one of these, which is just a pipe uh, cleaner. You know, whenever you're doing a more deep clean of your pipes, my wife has a set of aluminium straws for drinking, and I was using her thing to clean that. That was for cleaning the straws, and I was using it to clean my pipes and. Of course, it didn't take her long to uh, catch on, and I got told off. Yeah, I was in the doghouse for at least 30 minutes, you know. Bad boy. But, uh, yeah, so that'll resolve that issue. I can clean my pipes without any problem. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. Oh, very tight. And also got 160 in total. You can never have too many pipe cleaners, isn't that right? YouTube pipe community. And finally an ashtray. No, sorry. This is the, not the penultimate, is that the right word? Not finally, penultimate. Good ashtray. Good price, 16.99 euros. So around the $20 mark, I guess, again. Very nice. I should have got one with another thing. See, COVID mind, COVID brain. You know, you just think of yourself now because you're locked up alone all bloody day. But yeah, it's a nice pipe. This is glass. This is cork. You obviously can tap your pipe on that if you're if you're going to take that risk while it's still warm. I would advise you don't. Uh, just tap with your hand lightly or use a, uh, a tool to gently scrape out your dottle. But yeah, you can get these in black glass. I went for the clear. I'm kind of regretting it now. I should have went for the black glass. It looks a lot sexier. But hey, I might even spray paint the bottom of it. I have some matte black spray paint. It could work. It could work. 
what else? The last thing then is this. It's Savinelli pipe cleaner. It's called Nico Salve. And I believe it's uh, very good at uh, deodorizing if your pipe goes sour. None of mine have done that yet, but and I, I've been using um, isopropyl alcohol, which is rubbing alcohol. It's not grain alcohol, so it's probably not the best thing to use to clean your pipes. But this stuff apparently is good deodorizing and cleaning your pipe. To clean, deodorize and disinfect pipe and stem. Did a pipe cleaner, did a pipe cleaner, the Italians, so dip, I think they meant, dip a pipe cleaner in fluid, run cleaner into stem and shank, allow it to dry. That's it. It kind of smells like a really bad aftershave. I'm going to do it just for you. Oh boy. Okay, so... You know when you go to the dentist and the, they make you wash your mouth out with this stuff that's usually pink or sometimes green? Well, that's what it is. That's what it tastes like anyway. Okay, nothing else here. Nope. Okay, now, the reason for the video, let's get down to it. I will angle this down. Okay, so beautiful presentation, like I say. What a shame. Yeah. Yeah, for goodness sake. I'm actually quite excited. Very nice, very good looking box, isn't it? Oh, mommy. Let's see. A wee quality control checker. So I guess that number could probably, you could probably trace down the guy who was on shift when this pipe was packed with this, I'm assuming. I've had other deliveries from other companies and they do something similar. And here we go, look at this. It's a stem obviously, but they have a balsa, what looks like a balsa wood filter already inside it. I didn't even know they made 9mm balsa wood filters, but there you go. We'll keep it out for now. Let's get the body of the pipe, put it together. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Look how good looking that is. The Salmonelli 673KS, and this is the Dolomiti range. I believe it's in reference to a mountain range in Italy, the Dolomiti or Dolomiti. And I believe the color scheme is meant to represent the earthy tones of the grounds in and around that area or province of Italy. Look at the beautiful color of the rustication and the coffee caramel swirliness of the, of the stem, the mouthpiece, absolutely beautiful. It is a bit of a smaller bowl than I was expecting. It looked bigger in the pictures, but no, it's, it's certainly big enough. Definitely a, a medium to large bowl. There you have it. Very nice, very happy with the way that looks. Let's just pop this back up, folks. We'll have a wee clench. Mm. Perfect. It just feels right. Mm. That's good also. I, uh, I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, but apparently if you, if you draw softly, if you hear something, like something like that, only when you're doing it softly, then it's going to create turbulence and separate the steam from the smoke. 
well the steam the smoke is mostly steam but it's going to cause more turbulence and that means that you get less flavor it kind of separates so if you get a pipe where when you draw it softly it doesn't make any noise it just has a clear path can't hear much looks good to me feels good to me too that is just a beautiful pipe beautiful one more little go oh look at her look at her so i will be breaking this in i'm wondering what tobacco i should use let's see we have a savinelli oh my goodness on the inside here is a list of most of their shapes and sizes a little miniature range there i hear you can pick those up for a under fifty dollars i guess i think if you're wanting a little pipe also if you check out that website bolito pipe they have a number of what the salvinelli call greza g-r-e-z-z-a and these are unfinished pipes that didn't quite make it to have the the branding put on them and then to be sold for the regular price it means that they have little uh, tarnishes in the wood or maybe they're not quite perfect or maybe the the borehole or the the smoking uh, uh, everything wasn't drilled out to precisely what it should be so minor 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 things meaning you can pick up on the site it was 33 euro for a salvinelli pipe I mean, and I've I uh, I went on uh, the smoking den online and uh, read it as well. I think, and anyone who's tried them really hasn't given bad feedback. They've just said, "Yeah, this is your opportunity to spend less than you know, so thirty three euros for a Savinelli unfinished." If you want, you could. It's like uh, those Morgan Bones pipe. You know, it's unfinished. It it'll gradually, like a meerschaum, it'll gradually take on the color of the oils and the the tobacco and the tar, and uh, become uh, unique, have its own little patina. But um, if you want it, you could grab some Karunba wax and finish it yourself. Even you don't need any tools. You could just do it by hand. Yeah. I'll maybe make a video on doing that because I have some Karimba wax flakes. Also, we have a balsa system insert. Ooh, there's another four nine millimeter balsa wood filters. I should have bought loads of those, but let's see. Let me just see. I want to make sure that these are the nine millimeter charcoal filters. Just want to make sure that they definitely fit. Which they do. Good job. I'm actually surprised. I thought that would impede the draw. It certainly doesn't. Let's try it with the balsa wood one that came with it. So I think Savinelli expect you to use the balsa wood filters. I'm interested in trying the, the chart. doesn't impede the draw either that really is a good looking pipe i can't get over i just love that coffee caramel finish on the mouthpiece it looks good enough to eat doesn't it beautiful really nice well that's about it guys that's the savinelli unboxing so the next video i assume will be a smoking of it. That's how it's gonna work, isn't it? I'm not just gonna have it sit there and look pretty. I'm gonna to have to smoke the damn thing into oblivion. So leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. I will, uh, I will actually not smoke this then until I make a video. Let me know in the comments what you think is best for it. I'm thinking like an aromatic, I should probably stay away from it. It's such a good pipe. I don't wanna ghost it with something. But then again, I have friends who just smoke anything in any pipe and it 
you know, they claim it doesn't bother them. And the min uh, up until now, I've been using my uh, two Petersons for English blends and anything Latakia, and then corn cobs for for heavy aromatics, and then anything in between, just the other, the other pipes, you know. The, but what do you think, guys? Does it really? Do you get blends that ghost your pipe? There's one uh, twist tobacco, the uh, Gawith Hoggart Maple Twist, which I'm interested in trying, and it's very high in nicotine apparently, but also it has that maple flavor that is quite powerful maybe, and will ghost your pipe. So I'm gonna try it, maybe use a corn cup for that one. But let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching, and. Uh, yeah, hope to see you again. Have a good day. Bye.